another business minded in a mommy's world or I'm going to shorten it and say, um, okay, wait, B, B, M, W, W. <laughs> Thank you, Maya. B, B, M, W, W. <laughs> we might just have to stick to business minded in the mommy's world. But how you guys doing? Busy, busy bosses. What's going on, y'all? How y'all doing today? Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Um, I wanted to talk to y'all because you know what? I was kind of in a funk, um, this weekend. I, um, I decided that, like I had told you guys before in my previous videos, I found a bakery and I'm trying to get the bakery. And I was trying to figure out how I can get some funding to help me get the bakery. Of course, I'm still in the process of doing my business plan, which honestly is very tedious. And um, I'm going to do another video to kind of like go into more details with the business plan as far as you trying to like get financing, maybe loans for your business. Um, but it is definitely tedious. And when you got a lot of stuff going on, it's like you really got to shut down to get it done. So I haven't been able to finish it as of yet. Um, so I've been trying to explore other options as far as getting some funding, getting some help for, you know, getting this money up for the bakery. And um, I know you guys are all familiar with the GoFundMe. I've been going back and forth with this GoFundMe idea, um, thinking like, should I do it? Is it cheesy? Should I really be asking people to fund my dream? Is it fair? Um, you know, I've been really going back and forth with it. And then one night I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna step on the limb and I'm gonna, you know, see if anything bites. Um, so, of course, I didn't make it public public like I didn't share it on Facebook because a part of me was still nervous. I was still scared to see people asking me for help. I mean, well, see people to have. <laughs> now, y'all know I get a lot of tongue tightness, <laughs> but I was nervous to have people seeing me ask for help. I don't know if it's a pride thing. I don't know if. Um, I don't know what it is, but it makes me nervous. It really does. It makes me nervous. It doesn't really make me feel good. And I know that, you know, a lot of people will help you. Um, and then sometimes people will judge you. And I think the judge, judgment part is what kind of makes me nervous. Um, but yeah, so I decided to post the um, I send it, I sent my GoFundMe link to a couple of my close friends and close relatives that I knew knew my situation, knew my struggle, and um, I was hoping for the best. Now all I asked for was a donation of a dollar, um, but you know, in my heart, of course, praying that if they could, you know, they would give more. And do y'all know it's been a whole weekend and nobody has put not one dollar towards it. it you know what I don't know if it's just me or if this is a human thing but that hurts when you are doing something that's positive when you're actually putting your all into something that's positive and nobody nobody that that is close to you supports that's a hurtful thing you know um, it's been a couple times that I've posted, that I've asked people to share stuff. Now, people that I talk to, that are friends with me, they are on Facebook. They are on social media. They actually live, 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 live. And can you turn this down, please? Sorry, you know, she got to have her music. But they live on social media. And, um, you can't even share a, 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 um, an advertisement for my business you can't even share um you can't share nothing something that's free it literally takes no time but you just to hit the share button you know so it's stuff like that like i i came on today to vent of course um but to also kind of give us you know be prepared that the people that support you are going to be strangers I'm going to just say it. I'm going to just say it. I said it. I said it. Be prepared 
be prepared that the people that support you will be strangers. Your family's going to support you, but they're also going to be looking for discounts. Some of them, not all of them. Don't cut me, y'all. Don't send me no hate mail. I'm not saying all of your family members are going to do that, but I'm telling you to be prepared for when it happens, not to let it discourage you. Don't let that discourage you. Sometimes people, they have their own lives. You know, they have their own lives that they're worried about, that they're into, and supporting your business is not one of them. I'm sorry. It's true. It's true. And um, I've had a lot of people, like, honestly, some of my best clientele are people that I met out in the street. It is. You know, you are, and again, I'm going to make sure that I um, correct myself. Not all of your family are going to be the ones that don't support you, but a good part of them will not support you or as much as you think that they should. They will not go that extra mile. They'll be around if it's some freebies. Oh, you got some freebies? Oh, you giving out some brick? Oh, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there to support you. You got some drinks? I'm going to be there to support you. But when it says, I need a donation, y'all. Can anybody donate $3, $4? Don't let it hurt you when it's not your family that's there giving you the finances. Um, you know, busy bosses, we got to we got to prepare for these things. We got to prepare for those disappointments and so that way it does not keep us off our focus. We are focused on a goal and regardless if the family helps you, regardless if our friends help, regardless of who help, it's still our dream. So if it's our dream, that means we got to make it work. You know what I mean? We got we got to build it. That way when we get on top, we can sit there and say, man, look what I did. Not look what all these handouts did for me. You get what I'm saying? So I share that because, um, like I said, this weekend I was really hurt that nobody even put a couple dollars in, you know, my GoFundMe. And it, especially being that it was something that I struggled to with anyway struggled with you know saying i needed some help or support with it i'm honestly mentally preparing myself that maybe this year i might not get my bakery um it kind of sucks but i don't want to put unrealistic expectations on something that i honestly have no control over so and that's another nugget guys do not put unrealistic expectations don't put unrealistic timelines on your progress on your growth it takes time it takes time of course we want stuff to happen overnight and sometimes it's, it's just that's just not in the cards for us but that doesn't mean that we stop grinding it doesn't mean that we stop working towards our goal it doesn't mean anything so i just came on here guys of course i'm going to support my bosses i'm going to encourage my bosses we got this so you know we we, we are human so we're going to feel those type of ways but get back on that horse and get going. I just wanted to encourage y'all today. So again, have a wonderful Monday. Enjoy this Monday. Enjoy this work week. It is the bomb. It's going to be the bomb. It's going to be prosperous. We're going to meet some new people that we needed to meet. We're going to meet those people. Make sure that you look in your best. Make sure you got your business face on. I got my business face on today, y'all. Look. <laughs> Make sure you look your best. Keep it real. Keep it honest, keep it love, okay? Y'all stay productive, stay busy. To leave you Talk with a question of the day, what do you find to be the thing that distracts you the most? What is something that continues to occur and keeps you and gets you off track and gets you off focus? And my, it's, it's actually a two-part question. And what are the ways that we can stop it? What What is the way or have you thought of ways to prevent that thing from getting you off focus i want you guys to comment your um your you know replies comment like and subscribe please share it with other people that are business minded um i will be here often sharing my tips sharing my just sharing my life as how i'm going through this um business home with six children i just wanted to you know i, I want to share what I'm going through because I know it's going to touch somebody else. So like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to be jazzy. Sing a little song. Right, Maya? Because Maya's right here now. Now she came into my, this is, this is my, <clears throat> this is my happy place.
See? Happy place. <laughs> Bye, busy bosses. It's a happy, happy day. <laughs> it's a happy day for everybody. Girl, come on so we can get you to school. You, we, Come on, you playing around. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back to my shizzle. It looks really dark. Okay, now keep it going, keep going. And I just wanted to let y'all know that I don't have lipstick <gasps> on my teeth. I like the light on me. On me. I like the light on me. On me. I like the light. Oh me, 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 me